Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Today we are going to do the presentation. Now welcome to the first presenter. The presenter is Miss Puel. Please clap for her. First of all I would like to respect to the teacher and I would like to say good morning to everyone. My name's Puel and I'm 18 years old. Today I'm very glad to do the presentation. My topic is book. Books are the store of knowledge and wisdom. They contain variety of pleasures. Reading books makes our mind strong and broaden our outlook. Reading of books gives us a great pleasure. They are the best friends of man. Through books we come to know our civilization. Through books we come into contact with great scholars, poets and philosophers. Books never misguide us. They help us in building our character. By reading books our sadness is removed. If we are on a long journey, books give us a good company. Everyone, therefore, should develop the habit of reading books. My presentation comes to the end. Thank teacher and thank everyone. Thank Miss Puel. Well done for your presentation. Please move to the next presenter. The presenter is Miss Mansi. Please clap for her. First of all I would like to respect to the teacher and I would like to say good morning to everyone. My name's Mansi and I'm 18. Today I'm very glad to do the presentation. My topic is books and reading. Ruskin calls books, king's treasures, treasuries filled, not with gold and silver and precious stones, but with riches much more valuable than these, knowledge, noble thoughts and high ideals. Man has secured a lifelong source of pleasure, instruction and inspiration by acquiring the habit of reading the books. Poor indeed is the man who does not read, and empty is his life. The reading habits con for the many blessings. We should choose the right kind of books. The reading gives the highest kind of pleasure. When we are tired or the brain is weary with serious study, it is healthy recreation to lose ourselves in some absorbing story written by a master hand. As we need plain, wholesome food for the body, so we must have serious reading for the mind. We can choose reading the books according to our taste. There are many noble books on history, biography, philosophy, religion, travel and science which we ought to read. The reading of books will give us not only pleasure but an education. Books are the most faithful of friends. Our friends may change or die, but our books are always patiently waiting to talk us. No wonder a reader becomes a book lover. My presentation comes to the end. Thank teacher and thank everyone. Thank Miss Mansi. Well done for your presentation. Please move to the next presenter. The presenter is Miss Bertha. Please clap for her. First of all I would like to respect to the teacher and I would like to say good morning to everyone. My name's Bertha and I'm 18. Today I'm very glad to do the presentation. My topic is book. It is one thing to own a library, it is quite another to use it wisely. I have often been astonished how little care people devote to the selection of what they read. Books, we know, are almost innumerable, our hours of reading are alas very few. And yet many people read almost by hazard. They will take any book they chance to find in a room at a friend's house. They will buy a novel at a railway stall if it is an attractive title. Indeed. I believe in some cases even the binding affects that choice. The selection is, no doubt, far from easy. I have often wished someone would recommend a list of hundred good books. If we had such lists drawn up by a few good guides, they would be most useful. I have indeed sometimes heard it said that in reading everyone must choose for himself, but this reminds me of the recommendation not to go into the water till you can swim. My presentation comes to the end. Thank teacher and thank everyone. Thank Miss Bertha. Well done for your presentation. Please move to the next presenter. The presenter is Miss Bonnie. Please clap for her. First of all I would like to respect to the teacher and I would like to say good morning to everyone. My name's Bonnie and I'm 18. 
Today I'm very glad to do the presentation. My topic is value of sport. The value of sports and games is today recognized by all educationists. Books develop our mind but games develop our body. Games, if properly played, not only makes our body stout and muscular but also fill our body with strength and vigor. Games also provide freshness to our mind and imbibe in us many qualities. Games inculcate in us sportsman's spirit, honesty, punctuality, regularity, team spirit, leadership and obedience. A true sportsman is never sorry and sighed for his defeat. He plays game for game's sake and not for winning always. Each game is played under certain rules, to be obeyed by all the players. Above all, games teach us how to command and how to obey. My presentation comes to the end. Thank teacher and thank everyone. Thank Miss Bonnie. Well done for your presentation. Please move to the next presenter. The presenter is Miss Kate. Please clap for her. First of all I would like to respect to the teacher and I would like to say good morning to everyone. My name's Kate and I'm 18. Today I'm very glad to do the presentation. My topic is value of time. A proper consideration of value of time will also inspire habits of punctuality. Nothing begets confidence in a man sooner than the practice of this virtue and nothing shakes confidence sooner than the want of it. He who holds to his appointment, and does not keep you waiting for him, shows that he has regard for your time as for his own. Thus punctuality is one of the modes by which we testify our personal respect for those whom we are called upon to meet in the business for life. It is also conscientiousness in a measure. For an appointment is a contract, expressed or implied, and he who does not keep it, breaks faith as well as dishonestly uses other people's time and thus inevitably loses character. We naturally come to the conclusion that the person who is careless about business and that he is not the one to be trusted with the transaction of matters of importance. When Washington's secretary excused himself for the lateness of his attendance and laid the blame upon his watch, his master quietly said, then you must get another watch, or I another secretary. My presentation comes to the end. Thank teacher and thank everyone. Thank Kate. Well done for your presentation. Please move to the next presenter. The presenter is Tammy. Please clap for her. First of all I would like to respect to the teacher and I would like to say good morning to everyone. My name's Tammy and I'm 18. Today I'm very glad to do the presentation. My topic is health. Health is a state of complete physical social and mental well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Health is thus a level of functional efficiency of living beings and a general condition of a person's mind, body and spirit, meaning it is free from illness, injury and pain. It is a resource of everyday life and a positive concept emphasizing physical capabilities. Good health is a secret of every happy man. There is an old saying, health is wealth. Staying healthy for children is vital for proper growth and development of mind and body as they need to focus in the class and fully participate in the activities on the field. Parents must take their children for medical checkup and learn from experts about their development in terms of height and weight, as it has a huge impact on their overall performance and efficiency. If you're strong and healthy, you can be a shining example to others and teach them how to achieve vibrant health. Good health is a matter of great concern, to maintain it, healthy living and a disciplined life is a must. One of the best ways is to drink plenty of water as it reduces the risk of infection, keeps your skin healthy, reduces the risk of heart attack, burns body fat and regulates our body temperature. We should sleep well as it relaxes our body and reduces stress. We need to have a balanced diet and go for long, brisk walks. Our motto should be to keep our body clean in order to remain healthy. We must laugh more as laughing is a therapy and a secret of good health. The government should include integrated health programs into their public policies and control specific health problems. My presentation comes to the end. Thank teacher and thank everyone. Thank Ms. Tarmi. 
Well done for your presentation. Please move to the last presenter. The presenter is Miss Hannah. Please clap for her. First of all, I would like to respect to the teacher, and I would like to say good morning to everyone. My name's Hannah, and I'm 18. Today, I'm very glad to do the presentation. My topic is health is wealth. There is an old saying, health is wealth. Health is a state of complete physical, social and mental well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Health is thus a level of functional efficiency of living beings and a general condition of a person's mind, body and spirit, meaning it is free from illness, injury and pain. It is a resource of everyday life and a positive concept emphasizing physical capabilities. Good health is a secret of every happy man. Staying healthy for children is vital for proper growth and development of mind and body as they need to focus in the class and fully participate in the activities on the field. Parents must take their children for medical checkup and learn from experts about their development in terms of height and weight, as it has a huge impact on their overall performance and efficiency. If you're strong and healthy, you can be a shining example to others and teach them how to achieve vibrant health. Good health is a matter of great concern. To maintain it, healthy living and a disciplined life is a must. One of the best ways is to drink plenty of water as it reduces the risk of infection, keeps your skin healthy, reduces the risk of heart attack, burns body fat and regulates our body temperature. We should sleep well as it relaxes our body and reduces stress. We need to have a balanced diet and go for long, brisk walks. Our motto should be to keep our body clean in order to remain healthy. We must laugh more as laughing is a therapy and a secret of good health. The government should include integrated health programs into their public policies and control specific health problems. My presentation comes to the end. Thank teacher and thank everyone. Thank Hannah. Well done for your presentation. Thank you for watching channel, Dan Sriyun. Please subscribe, like and share.